Well, hello, everybody on YouTube. It's the Wingnut, and I'm sitting here looking at uh, the new Fat Bob. So I'm over here at Southside Harley Davidson. Uh, Jeff Martin, or Frenchie as he likes to be called, uh, set me up with a demo ride today with this beautiful bike. Running inverted forks. Uh, it's running the same size tank as the breakout, the 114. Keyless start, the usual, uh, <laughs> usual goodies. This is a bad bike. This is a bad bike. Let's see what she does. Oh my goodness. Mm. And I'm not even a big Harley fan. Got a little bit of a back support to it in the springs. Man, we'll do a walk around when we get down here. This feels so tiny compared to the Triumph. Oh, wow. So, guys, you know, usually I rail off a whole bunch of uh, stuff at you, you know, specs and everything else. But uh, this time, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think, I think this time I'm just going to enjoy the ride and let you guys watch. And then I'll put the specs down below. Um, but good guys. So you guys remember the 114 engine from the breakout video last year. Phenomenal bike. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I know some people kind of didn't as far as uh, they thought that it wasn't as smooth or as nimble as I did. However, comma. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. That is nice. So they didn't think that the breakout was as nimble of a bike as I did. Uh, and that may be because they don't drive a dump truck of a motorcycle like my Triumph is. But this is nice. Um, and man, this is really smooth. Now, of course, uh, I'm becoming more of a Harley guy every day just for the simple fact that they are nice motorcycles. Um, wow. This is not lacking for get up and go. Now, uh, as usual, I'm doing the dealer loop, so please, uh, please understand that I can't take these on a long review and through some, a lot of twisties, because if I could, I would. Uh, but man, this is nice. And it's very, very light. Once again, this is... <laughs> Once again... Is this comparison to the 1200 pound bike that I ride? Alright, this is half the weight. Uh, I think this is. I don't want to give you bad uh, stuff, so look at the description below. There'll be a full length of. Uh, or full length. <laughs> uh, a full list of uh, the specs on it. But this thing can't be over 700 pounds. It's probably closer to, to the lower 600 pounds than anything else. Uh, just top of my head. Uh, Man, it just runs so, so nice. Uh, it is not hurting. Um, I'm digging the, uh, I'm digging the bars. I'm digging the inverted forks. Uh, your uh, suspension adjustments actually down here below, uh, uh, and I'll have to show you guys that when I do my stop and walk around. I normally do. Man, Southside and Frenchie, you guys are awesome for letting me do this. Uh, Oh, those brakes are on it. And, you know, I'm digging the scrambler style pipes. And that's really what it feels like. I mean, I know it's a fat bob, but it's kind of got a little bit of a scrambler feel to it. And that might be what they're going for. Since the scrambler market's getting kind of big now. You know, and guys, like I said, uh, this is all based off of Yeah, she ain't hurting for get up and go. Six B transmission ships like a champ. I'm digging it. I am 
digging it. Turn signals. <laughs> All right, so uh, if you guys aren't familiar with Harley Davidson's, uh, I, I need to go ahead and point out now that the turn signals are right here. So if you want to do your right turn, you click your right turn signal. If you want to do your left turn, you do your left turn signal. They're actually on the opposing thumb. So right, left, kind of like your hands. Um, God, man, and it's got this, look, we're about to pull over. Uh, looks like we're pulling over right here in this little bank because my usual spots all tore up now and they're putting the building on top of it oh, man. oh man oh man this is a fun little bike man and it's got a hell of a power plant on it there it is Wow. It's a hell of an orange bike. Wow. 114 cubic inch engine, Harley Davidson Fat Bob. Scrambler style exhaust. Here's your suspension adjustment right here. Uh, just wow. Really, really nice bike. Uh, I mean, some of the neat features like you have on a lot of your Harleys. I've seen a lot of so far, if not most of them. Once again, I am not a Harley Davidson expert. Is the turn signals being on opposite sides, which is kind of nice. I just you have to get used to them. Uh, turn signals are mounted kind of high, like they are on the Sportsters. And uh, you know, you've got this very large LED headlight, so you can't go wrong with that. Is this thing on? So, definitely, definitely a fun bike. Definitely really nice. Uh, belt driven, cool. Forward controls. And now, look, I'm 6'4", 280 pounds, uh, give or take. And it doesn't seem like it's, it's not uncomfortable for me to ride uh, right out the gate, factory. I think I would prefer to have my bars a little bit more up and out, uh, or the controls more forward. But I mean, it's comfortable to ride as it, as it sits. You know, uh, keyless uh, as as usual. She's ready to go. Little bitty bike. <laughs> I know it's not a little bike. I know some people get a little wound up when I say, oh, it's not bad for a medium-sized bike. Um, uh, and as far as, it's a full-size frame. It's a full-size bike. Uh, just when I say medium bike or large bike, I'm talking about just displace, uh, not necessarily displacement, but uh, weight. You know, to me, my bike's a big bike. Man, this is just nice. Keep doing that. So yeah, that'll take a little bit of getting used to with the thumbs. <laughs> Looks really good. Really good bike. I am digging it. Just waiting on traffic. Just waiting on traffic. Mirrors, man. Mirrors don't work for the big guy. I have to get taller mirrors. But still, man, the bike just, it looks great. It's a fun little bike. I, I cannot complain about it. It's just, I'm a big dude. <laughs> so I make it look tiny. And uh, yeah, it's just, just a nice bike. What 
I'd love to see how maneuverable it is on the back road. But, you know, it's not my bike. You can't do it. You can't do anything crazy. But damn, it's just it's comfortable. I mean, for what I'm doing right now, man, this is on it. It definitely seems a lot lighter to handle than the breakout was. Um, and that could be because it's just a lighter bike. But that, that 114 is more than enough punch. Other than the mirrors need to be bigger, I could I could roll this right out the, the front door of Southside Harley Davidson and ride it and have a blast. This is just a great bike. Fat Bob.